Marie, I'm here today to help you for your last minute gift idea. Here's the top 10 things that I'd like to, I, ha, I love having in my kitchen, so I hope that's gonna help you to give you some ideas. What about a paring knife? You don't have a lot of money, you already spent all that money in gifts, but you need that extra one. What about a paring knife? Very, very essential when it's time to peel your veggies or um, fruit. The other type of knife that I use a lot is the chef knife to chop, 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 chop all your veggies and your fruit um, quite fast because it's so long that you don't miss an opportunity to chop. And actually to chop, I would suggest that you use that huge and heavy chopping board, uh, which is awesome because when you chop, you don't waste any pieces of your veggies, everything stays on the same surface. Another idea. Uh, we have this uh, spring form pan, I think that's the name in English. I use that a lot for any vegan or vegetarian raw um, uh, recipes that I do, like uh, cheesecake with no cheese or stuff like that. That's a spring. I can open it here and close it here. The other thing I use a lot is that in French we call that the uh, cat's tongue. It's a spatula that you can use when it's warm. If Usually if uh, this part is red, that means you can use it in, in hot dish. That helps to clean pans and everything very well. The other thing I use a lot is this hand plunger. So that I use that for mayo, for dips, for anything that needs to be uh, mushed up quickly, or even soup sometimes. The other bigger piece of equipment that I would suggest if you have a bigger uh, budget, this is the blender. So that's the bottom part of my blender that I use a lot for soups, velouté, emulsion, dressings, anything, even smoothies, I do there. So that's a kind of a good size. You can have three smoothies made in one shot in this one. And fi uh, finally, I use a lot my food processor. So that's a kind of a five liters um, capacity, which is perfect for a big family or if you have lots of guests, that's perfect to be used. And then I'm going to share with you two of my favorite recipe books today. One is from one of my favorite chefs in France, Laurent Salomon. That's a little book that is uh, explaining how to do a healthy chocolate uh, dessert recipes. I'm going to put all the links of what I mentioned today below that video so that you can check it out. So that's the one here. And the other one is from Montreal. Uh, maybe you've heard of Cru d'Essence, Montreal, Canada. So that's a beautiful book that shows you how to make uh, raw desserts, and most of them are vegan. I hope this helps. And then if you need an extra gift idea, and you live in Frederick to New Brunswick, you could get a ticket for the next uh, vegetarian workshop that I'll be hosting in next uh, February. So this will be as well as a link below that video. I hope I helped you. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a good holiday. And I hope you eat well, healthy and pretty.